And finally tonight, a dog which lost its footing and fell into the water near Chiswick was safely rescued alongside its owner after she went in to help her pet. They were both found clinging to a ladder before a lifeboat came to the rescue. Sam Holder has the details. Trapped and desperately clinging on against the force of the Thames, Carol Lawson had tried to save her Labrador after it fell from a wall. Despite managing to grab hold of Brody, the pair couldn't climb to safety, instead needing an emergency rescue by the RNLI. She was walking and then what she did, she must have sniffed food. Right. And then she went under the railings and she was she was there and I was calling her back, you know, Brody, 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 come here, come here. Yeah. And she lost her footing. Right. The water in the Thames is bitterly cold and heavily polluted, but both pet and person were fine, if a little damp. Carolyn Brody held on in the cold water for half an hour. No mean feat, considering how strong the tidal currents are along this stretch of the Thames. They're enough to overpower the most confident swimmer, let alone somebody desperately clinging on to their dog. The message from the RNLI is to never enter the Thames. With their specially designed boats for the river, they're far more effective at rescuing pets than owners could ever be. It's very important they call us first rather than going in. If they go into the water after their animals, there's two beings that we have to rescue. We will put as much emphasis on rescuing an animal as we will a human, but if we have to rescue two, it, it divides our resources. It makes our jobs a little bit harder. Don't try and make them come back to you. Let them go with the flow and gradually make their way to the bank. They might find a, a piece of land they can come onto. Rather than following a pet into the river, the advice is to follow them along the bank. Or best of all, make sure they're on a lead. Sam Holder, ITV News.